Texas Governor Greg Abbott said yesterday that Texas will start using charter buses to ship immigrants from the border to Washington, D.C. in response to the Biden administration lifting Title 42. Here's Abbott making the announcement. It's providing charter buses to send these illegal immigrants who have been dropped off by the Biden administration to Washington, D.C. We are sending them to the United States Capitol where the Biden administration will be able to more immediately address the needs of the people that they are allowing to come across our border. Political journalist Rebecca Azor joins us now to discuss. Welcome, Rebecca. Thanks for having me. And so Ted Cruz uh, is up with a post saying excellent ideas, Greg Abbott, and he says he's going to file federal legislation that will also send them to Martha's Vineyard, Nantucket, Palo Alto, Greenwich, Scarsdale, New York, Newport, Rhode Island, and Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. And so there's going to be charter buses that are going all over the country if Ted Cruz gets his way. Greg Abbott has since clarified these are completely voluntary. So in other words, free rides for people to get out of Texas and go to these towns. Uh, what, is, what are they thinking here? Like, when I first heard it, I'm like, is this a joke? But, you know, anything right now, I just feel like, you know, is it's just ridiculous how these Texas leaders are would use utilize money, utilize funds that can go somewhere else for, you know, getting all of these buses to get these immigrants out of Texas. So I think the message is really clear. No immigrants here. That's what it's giving. And so um, to hear them uh, put so much work into uh, this this, to me, it's a joke uh, to not having immigrants come to Texas because they, they don't want them there and sending them other places, saying that they're going to send them to Washington, D.C. Um, I think that it's 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 still stupid. It's still America. They still be here as you guys, you know, as, as these leaders are upset. They don't want immigrants, but yet they're going to ship them over to Washington, D.C. They think that they're making themselves clear. They're, they're proving a point. But it, it just seems as a joke to me when that money could be well spent for something else that Texas yeah, I mean, needs. Right. It doesn't make a lot of sense. It, it's I guess it makes sense if you presume that immigrants are all like violent criminal or, or like are disease or something. Then you want to like physically move them elsewhere. But these are just people. <laughs> the overwhelming majority are no threat to anyone. Um, I mean, in, in, in fact, they're. The immigrant population has been, like, you, you, all of the studies show less dangerous than the native population of the right. United States. Right. Yeah. Native born like population of the United States. They want it to look like, you know, they're just these people are dangerous. They're they, they're disease ridden. They're they you're bringing those. This is what they're trying to. This is the rhetoric that they're trying to put out there. This is the idea that they want to have. But there's not there's no clear reason as no clear reason that makes sense as to why these leaders are doing that, except for it's just we don't want immigrants in Texas. Yeah. And, and Rebecca, I, I made this. Uh, comment on Twitter, and it made the uh, con my conservative followers so <laughs> livid. And if you want a taste of their response, you can probably just scroll down to the comment section on this piece. Do you have a lot of conservative followers, Ryan? Oh, I, I hate followers. Uh, I think. They, they yeah. have a ball in the comment section. They have they, a ball. In the they do, and so they can have a ball with this one. I, I pointed out to them that we are in the midst of a historic labor shortage that is driving inflation. That is hurting, That's what I was going to say. Put them to work. Hurting Have them the build working, houses. Hurting working class, lower class, middle class people all over the country. Because, yes, wages are up thanks to the labor shortage, but inflation is up by more. So it's eating away at the gains. And so you need to grow the economy so that you can keep pace and, get, and keep inflation down. You, in other words, you need more workers in this country. So now they're going to send bus Buses full of workers to Nantucket and Martha's Vineyard, they will be not all too happy to welcome them. Be like, great, we have right. we have help wanted yeah. signs everywhere. Grab a wrench. <laughs> yeah, like there's there is a lot of work to do in this country. So, Re Rebecca, what is it about the kind of conservative mind that can't connect the help wanted signs with the people who want to give help? The the, the fact that and, we need workers these... and the people who want to do the work. Yeah. And these people who are coming over here, they're coming for better lives. You know, I'm a product of immigrants myself. Um, I'm first generation. And my parents, you know, come from uh, Haiti, um, you know. And so 
I know the first thing that they they're coming for a better life first, and then they're they're willing to do everything to stand in line to, um, you know, to be the best that they can be to come for a better life. They're going to work. They're going to do whatever they can. Um, and and I don't think that the conservatives are going are, are looking at it the bigger picture here. And you know, if there is help, they're going to come here and do whatever they can to stay here. If that means putting putting them to work or having to work or whatever whatever needs to be done these immigrants uh these asylum seekers they are going to make sure they do that they're going to make sure they uh um cross every t dot every i because they don't want any issues and they want to they want to work but conservatives aren't going to look at those views they're, they're going to start an issue about nothing it's just they don't want immigrants here they don't want asylum seekers here they don't and we know that with the whole thing they're going to yell that they're stealing jobs, right? We, we've seen that argument. Oh, they're taking away our jobs. and But nobody wants to work because they're turning on these people, not only conservatives, but these people are just turning on their cameras and doing podcasts with no with nonsense when they should be out here getting jobs but or, or working. But here we see so many are being pushed away. So many asylum seekers, so many immigrants are being pushed away with no real reason except for, I think it's just one of those things that we've seen with conservative views is just build that wall. We don't want them at the border. Keep them away. Um, they're dangerous. That's the narrative that they want to continue to push out. And so. Well, Fox reporter Bill Malugan has been at the border in Texas and filmed this video yesterday of a migrant who had just been released from federal custody. He's showing the phone that he was given from ICE and was told to check in every Wednesday with the agency using the phone while on the way to Miami. A bill also reported that the uh, migrants are asked to turn themselves into ICE in a city of their choice. However, there's no way to stop them, stop the phones from being tossed. I guess uh, so. During during the White House briefing yesterday, Peter Ducey asked Jen Psaki about the phones and their function. Let's watch this. Thank you, Jen. First on immigration, our team in Texas is uh, saying that you guys are starting to give smartphones to border crossers, hoping that they'll use the phones to check in or uh, to be tracked. Uh, which part of that is supposed to deter people from crossing illegally into the states? Well, I, I think you of all people, since you've asked me a range of questions on this topic over time, would recognize that we need to take steps to ensure that we know where individuals are and we can track in, and we can check in with them. The alternatives to detention program is just what we utilize as uh, three unique forms of technology to monitor participants enrolled in the program. Telephonic, this is one of them, which is uses a participant's voice to create a biometric voice print during the enrollment process. And when the participant has a check-in call, their voice is compared to the voice print. Smart Link, which is another option, enables participant monitoring via smartphone or tablet using facial matching technology to establish identity. And Global Positioning System Monitoring is of a participant's location and movement history using satellite technology through an ankle bracelet. This is all part of our effort as individuals come into uh, the United States and individuals who are entering who, who will proceed to immigration proceedings to monitor and track where they are. With the telephonic, though, any concern by folks around here that these migrants will take the phones and just toss them? And then Do you have a record of people throwing phones away? I'm just asking if that's a concern. <laughs> well, that, that seems like a cosmically stupid idea. Well, <laughs> but here's the thing. A lot of these uh, mi migrants want to check in. Like everybody yeah. says, follow the rules, you know, do the process. Yeah. This is the process. Yeah. You come to the border, you yeah. present your asylum application. Uh, you then are pre presented with a, a hearing date and you go through the process. So how do we keep yeah. up with you? Well, here's a phone, here's a GPS. Here's a... So that is the process. So most of, most of the migrants are going to go through with this because they want the, the legal paperwork. It's, it's only a tiny yeah. handful that are just going to say, you know what, I'd rather just completely live in the shadows forever. But Re Rebecca, um, what's, what's, what's your response to uh, Ducey's concern there? Which, last, and last point, the, the kind of anti-authoritarian paranoid right normally would hear that list of things and, and react like a libertarian like Robbie and be like, this is dystopian stuff. What's all this surveillance right. and tracking? Instead, they're like, I'm reacting shouldn't like that. you do better surveillance and tracking? So any, anyway, Rebecca, well, right. I wasn't, I, I wasn't asking for better surveillance and tracking. Right. No, saying, no. This seems pointless. Right. So yeah. go ahead, Rebecca. I, Sorry. Yeah, so no, no problem. I think that, you know, uh, as I said before, you know, they're going to want, like you said, they're going to want to check in. They want to make sure they get those papers, they get closer to those papers. Uh, and, and as we look at 
um, so many of these, uh, the history of these immigrants. Um, and I've actually sat locally here in Georgia and spoke with uh, leaders locally here uh, who are politicians, people who are running. And I've asked them, uh, where where is immigration on your list? And what are you doing to help prepare immigrants or asylum seekers to, you know, move into the area and assimilate and try their best to do what they can uh, to check in. And they were telling me it's really not even something that they've thought about. Um, and they've, you know, and I've had to have those conversations of telling them immigrants want to stay here. They want to follow the rules. I, I know this. I see this. I have family members who, who have done this, my, uh, my siblings who have done this, they want to make sure that they get into no trouble. So the phones being something to be able to be tracked and, 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 and them checking in, they're going to make sure they do that. The, I mean, that's a, I would say it's a stupid question. Even when she was breaking it down to him, all of those, term, those terms, all those things, it, it's throwing everybody for a loop. Just say what you need to say. But, you know, if they're going to, what if they just toss them? What happens then? Or is he trying to, you know, insinuate that they're going to become dangerous? That they're, you know, it's just, no, they're going to really do their best to do what they can to stay here. Um, I know that Title 42 is coming to an end and she, uh, you know, and I guess that they're worried that so many immigrants are just going to come here and they're just going to be wild and free. I mean, you know, I know it's land of the free, but the, they're going to come and they're going to be structured. This is how um, usually immigrants uh, are. They're going to come here and they're going to be structured until they get their papers. Right. Well, Rebecca, I'm glad your uh, parents got here. I'm glad you're here. And thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. And we'll have more Rising right after this.